Hey guys, this video is going to be uh, showing how to replace a plug on an extension cord or a power tool. And a little word of caution, we'll get this out of the way. I am a licensed electrician journeyman and uh, I feel comfortable doing this. And obviously, working on this end especially, it's going to be unplugged. If you're working on the female end, you want to make sure your uh, cord is unhooked and nobody can have access to it and plug it in on you and make sure you're replacing the plug with the exact same thing that's on here and the amperage rating is the same as the cord that way everything's going to be safe on there if you don't know what you're doing and don't feel comfortable doing it then don't do it get you another extension cord but if you feel comfortable doing it and you can read your safety instructions that come with it then feel free to follow the video on how to do this so just be safe electricity is lethal respect it Okay, so now the first thing we got to do, this is a uh, 12 gauge cord. As you can see, the ground legs broke off of this, your third prong. I just like to be safe, and most of the time I don't wouldn't worry about something like that, but you know, I did get a good buy on a bunch of these, so I figured I might as well go ahead and change it out and be a good time to make a little video on that, because I've been asked about this before and never actually showed it. And I have the uh, female end too, but on this particular cord it does not need replaced, so we're not going to. And uh, but it does ex change out the exact same way. And once we get this done, we'll take this apart and look at it just so I can show you. So it's not obviously on this side, we're not going to have power on this end. But if you're working on the other end, like I said earlier, make sure that uh, your power is disconnected and nobody can plug it in on you. So you just want to cut that off like that. Now, if you look here, you got three screws here, and you got two screws here for your clamp. So I'm going to go ahead and loosen the clamp screw just to get that out of the way. You'll see why here in a minute. This is a critical step. It'll save you some aggravation. <laughs> then go ahead and take all three of these screws out. Just take them completely out. And this is a, a Vanguard brand plug from uh, Harbor Freight, but they're all going to be very similar, if not the same. Uh, you can usually figure it out, and they'll always come with instructions too on how to do it. But a lot of times, the instructions aren't very clear on stuff, and it's easier just to watch the video. Now, you want to take this apart. Now is a good time to note that this only goes in one way, it kind of locks in. You see, there's uh, slots in here, there's a notch here that locks it in just to keep the orientation of everything on here. Another thing to note is your polarity of this. If you see a little W right here on this one, it's also stamped in here, W. This one has an X on it. And you also have a silver screw on this one, and a gold screw on this one, and a green one on this. So the way I memorize this, gold is hot, silver is not. That's how I memorized it. It just makes sense to me. Also, another way to memorize it, too, Especially on this end, if you're changing it, the small side is the hot, or you're ungrounded, and this side is your neutral or grounded. And this is your grounding, or your frame ground, whatever you want to refer to it as. The codes change a lot, and you got to refer to it what they say now. But, uh, okay, what I was saying earlier, I've done it myself a lot of times. Go ahead and strip all the wires and hook it up, and forgot to put this on. So you want to slide this on your cable first after you open it up enough so you want to slide this over your cable like that and just get it out of the way I'd rather have a black one or an orange one to put on this but oh well <laughs> the next thing you need to do is carefully remove about an inch of your uh, insulation the green to the, the orange part here there are several ways you can do this uh, not recommended to do it like this but you can as long as you don't uh, puncture the other wire the wires inside but uh, I'm going to use a knife when you start scoring it just keep an eye out like this just kind of go like that and split it like that don't try to cut it all with the knife if you cut into one of them wires and fry it you're just asking for problems down the road You want to inspect it. Make sure you didn't penetrate none of them. 
I see that one just barely got nicked, but it's the ground, so I'm not too worried about it. If you do nick one of them real bad, and just cut them all off and just keep going with it. You'll eventually get it right, trust me. <laughs> Takes a little bit of practice. And you want to cut all this insulation out of there. It's not necessary to be sticking that and getting in the way. Now you're ready to strip the wires back. Your instructions and everything will tell you the exact amount to uh, strip back on these. And uh, all you need is about less, a little bit less than about a quarter inch. That's all you got to strip back on all three of them. I always like to twist them like this just to keep the, make it a little more solid and keep a stray wire from sticking out of it. Now you're ready to connect everything. What you want to do here, back these screws out. Just big enough for the wire to stick in there. Go ahead and do all three of them. That way we can move along with it. Once you get it in there, you want to tighten it down pretty tight. Not so tight that you strip it out, but pretty snug. And you're ready to go ahead and hook the other two wires up. Be careful doing that. You don't want to run that screwdriver through your hands. Okay, once you get all your wires in there and make sure they're secure and tight, you're ready to go ahead and install this. That's where I was talking about it lines up right. If you don't line it up, you're going to be fighting with these screws trying to get them to go in. I always like to get one started like that. And Once you get one of them started, you should be able to get the other two going. You want to get these pretty snug, but don't strip them out, because like I said, you're just going into plastic. and You don't want to strip them out. You'll feel it kind of bottom out, so just snug it once it does that. Okay, so now don't forget to tighten your clamp up. I like to push the cable in just a little bit if it wants to go. And tighten these down. You can usually bottom these out, it just depends on how thick your wire is and how the plug is made. And once you get them tightened down and clamped, you're good to go. That should last a good long time. It's a lot heavier duty than the ones that come on there. So now you want to check it first before you go to use it, just to make sure everything's hooked up right. So I'm going to go ahead and plug this in. Now if you got a the small checker to plug straight into this, you will probably want to use that, it's just a little easier to work with. I'm going to put the hot in the small one here, like that. Check this one. There's 120. And check it up here on the ground. 120. So we're good to go. Now I'm going to briefly talk about the female end. Like I said, it's, it's almost, if not the same thing. Just want to, I just want to show you on here. That way the video will be more complete on how to do this. Like I said, we're not going to actually be changing the, this one, this one, that other end still good. So you put this on your wire. And you got the exact same thing on this one. Gold is hot. Silver is not. And you got your green ground. So it's the same thing as the other side. And you got your notches on this side too. Go back together like that and you tighten your three screws and tighten your clamp and you're good to go. Well guys, if you got any questions or comments about how to replace the ends on an extension cord or power tools, feel free to leave me a comment below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. So thanks for watching. We'll catch you on the next one.